does sound real crazy. Oh wow, it sounds like it has a harmonic tone. Oh, oh, it's sick! Oh, 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 whoa! What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Les Flair C. I'm Bobby FPV. I'm Peter FPV. And if you guys know me, you know I like to build crazy things. The idea behind this is that it is going to be the ultimate gap hitter, right? Okay. You can shrink yourself down, hit the gap, and then expand back out again. So when this thing is flying and you give throttle, then the, all the arms extend, right? Exactly, right? yeah. So okay. they're just <laughs> extending on their own thrust. So I've had to do a few things in Betaflight to make this possible. I had to go in and turn off all of the good juiciness that makes our drones fly well today because all those filters and all the stuff that Betaflight's doing in the background actually interferes with this. It's trying to correct constantly and if it's trying to correct with all the motors like that, yeah. you can imagine what's going to happen to the I mean, drone. Talk about the frame with the most resonance or whatever. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so I had to actually tell it to completely turn the motors off and actually stop them yeah. whenever I drop the throttle to zero. So keep that in mind. When okay. you go to re-enable the throttle, this thing is going to be all over the oh. place trying to correct for what is gotcha. confused with the flight control. Well, and unfortunately with the five inch, they have so much thrust that in order to get the arms to drop back down, I had to add rubber bands on the bottom to kind of gotcha. pull it back centered. I think you know, that's good though, so that when you do like let off throttle, it definitely goes back. Oh, it goes back know? really fast. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just for feeling it, let's see it like, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Super fast. So, so let's go ahead and put this up in the air. I'll fly a little bit line of sight just to kind of show you guys what it's capable of. Yeah. And then we'll try to see if we can chase it around here and hit some gaps. I want to just see you do a test hover. Once it's hovering, make it go like a, like make it yeah. go like a squid. <laughs> well, Dan should probably stand yeah, over Dan, here. Yeah, Dan, come over here. <laughs> hey guys, I'm standing behind the tree. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dan, watch out. There we go. Fly it. Let's SPV it. Sounds better. Let's SPV. <laughs> That's a cool catch. That's a cool catch. <laughs> Let's kind of get a feel of what it's doing before I get in the SPV. Because when I get in the SPV, I don't think I'm going to be able to know what's going on. What? It's not working. It's true. It does not start spinning because the motor's towed to a complete stop at zero throttle. Oh, so air mode is off. Mm. There's no air mode. And no idle. There's no idle. Yeah. Well, wow, it flies really good for you. It doesn't like me. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. what are you trying to do? Oh, don't no, you know, don't, don't yaw it. Wow. Don't yaw at all. Wow. You have to give it enough throttle to keep the tension locked in place. Oh. If you don't give it enough tension, okay. if you don't give it enough throttle, then they're not locked in place and the rear bands are trying to pull them back down. Gotcha. Oh, okay, how we get the vibrating motor again. Ah, oh. ah. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 That was acro right there. That was acro. I didn't try to do a flip. It just <laughs> did a flip. This thing okay. is crazy. Well, let's FPV it before I break it. I'm going to back now. I'm going to sit down and fly because I, I feel like once it freaks out, it might uh, <laughs> disorientate me a little bit. Ready to follow squid yeah, drone? Squishy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Squishy it's so squid. weird. I have to be <laughs> really high in throttle. Oh my I'm goodness. just going to fly oh. around for a second. Okay. It follow. looks like it's doing okay. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what the? Oh, fire. fire. What? Fire? Smoke. What? Fire? Smoke? Fire. Oh yeah, motor smoke. See how they completely stop? Yep. Let's do it out there now so I can actually make it do its thing. <laughs> Ready, Peter? Yep. Nice. Yeah, there you got it. You ready, right, Gardner? Let's go find that gap. I know where it is, just All right. probably. Let's go. There it you is. Got this. Maintain the safety ness. All right. I just go slow. Right. I see you. Oh! There we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice, you got it. That was sweet. Did you get it, Peter? You got it. All right, do, do it again. Let's keep doing it. All right, come on. <laughs> okay. You on me? Yeah, I'm on you. All right, slow, okay. slow, 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 slow. You're too fast. It pitches over. Right. 
little squid. <gasps> she squid it through! Oh, oh that was good. That was good. Okay, awesome. okay. So I just gotta give a really big flip of throttle. Oh my goodness. To make okay. sure they all go up. Okay, okay, hold on. I hit you're doing thing. really good now. This thing's okay. flying awesome now. Peter, did you get I don't know what you're doing flip. differently, but it's yeah, great. Yeah, you got it? Okay. Yeah. You ready? You on me? Yep. Oh wait, no. Oh, there's a gap. Scraggle. Oh, scraggle it up. Oh, so much. Ready? You on me? Yeah. Oh, there's right. one. Yeah. Oh, oh, squirt it through it. Oh, power, 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 power. power up. When in doubt, power out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you follow oh, my that, goodness. Peter? <laughs> oh, yeah. As much as I could. Again? But I'm right behind him now, yo. <laughs> oh, we're going through the small gap down here. Nice. Okay, let's find another All right. one. All right. Let's uh, go find the gap. Yeah. Right here. Oh, my Peter, you on me? Oh, yep, I'm on you. Peter, you on? Okay. I'm on you, boy. Come on, let's see what we can do. Oh boy, oh, oh squid, boy. squid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> in a tree. Hello, squid. Well, just like every other drone on the planet, it's stuck in a tree. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's He's pretty low. somewhere in here. Well, that's fun. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this gonna be your next drone that you're gonna want to fly every day? <laughs> no, really. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest, not really. Yeah, so at, at the end, I kind of started to figure it out. It's you really just once you're like this, you gotta just pin the throttle for like a second to get it to go up. Yeah. And then you can slowly drop the throttle again. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's like a balancing act. You have to give it enough throttle so these things engage. Yeah. But not too much to where you're in the trees, and not too little to where it flops around. And yeah. <laughs> this is like the maximum. Test. It looks so funny when it goes through the trees like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the maximum test of throttle control. <laughs> I wish I would have been. Follow along in your goggles because I think it probably looked sick. Yeah, I was like, they look really cool. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you flop with an almost hit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if this was a success or a failure, but I think it was pretty cool to play with, at least yeah, as a prototype fun. and as a proof of concept Definitely. that something like this could be really cool in regular everyday drone flying if you can get it to fly better than i did yeah i, I think mean, this would be nice. awesome to be the ultimate gap hitter yeah <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you guys watching this video want to maybe try to do the same thing yourself i think it would also work really well if you can somehow put servos on the arm i thought about using servos but that was a whole nother level of complexity yeah. with programming and stuff that yeah. would have had to go on into beta flight to make it happen yeah and on top of that it would be less durable because the servos we know after yeah. experience they break really easily wow. yeah so rubber bands are pretty durable apparently <laughs> yeah so if you guys try this project at home you know let us know in the comments below and also just tag us wherever you post it because we'd love to see what you guys do with it if you guys like this episode of rotorite make sure that you subscribe and then right next to the subscribe button there's a little bell and if you press the bell you'll get pinged when we upload every monday so let us know in the comments what project you want me to do next. Yeah, Sean's our mad scientist builder. You can build anything. Anything you put in the comments, he will build. Anything. And be sure to check out rotorite.com. We have a store where you can buy all the parts that I use to build this, except for some of the carbon pieces. If you guys want to try this out for yourself, I'll leave links to all the STL plans for this in the description so you guys can try it out for yourself. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Rotorite. Woo!